How to Survive is zombie RPG survival game. Is it worth a buy? Well, Gaming Nexus certainly thinks so. They give it a whopping 90%. I quote from the Gaming Nexus comment, a solid zombie role-playing game. It's also one of the best games of the year. Wow, sounds great, doesn't it? Hey, gets better, gets better. It has a deep crafting system and a world you can't help but want to explore. It rewrites the book on zombie role-playing games. I have a message for Gaming Nexus. F*** off. Just f*** off. I don't know what game they've been playing, but it's certainly not this game. Uh, because this does none of that. It doesn't rewrite anything. It doesn't have a deep crafting system. Let's look at the crafting first of all. I made a gun in about 15 seconds by clicking random stuff in my inventory. I did not know how to build a gun. I had no idea what the blueprints were. I just knew I had a blueprint for a gun and I picked up some shit. So I just clicked on stuff and pressed the combine button. And then it automatically lit up stuff I could combine. So I was just click, 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 click. And it was like, there you go, you've just made a gun. Now I don't call that a deep crafting system. I call that a shit crafting system. I didn't feel like I'd crafted anything. I just felt like I click, 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 craft. There you go. So there you go. There's the crafting system for all you people that want to get immersed in it. Don't bother. Now, as for the exploring of the world, well, unfortunately, this world can't be explored because to explore anything, you need freedom of choice because that's what exploring is all about. I want to go over here and explore. Well, you f***ing can't. Because this game is linear. Now what does linear mean for all you people that don't abla? Well linear is a simple case of you go on a one path route from A to B. The developers have set a route out you have to go that way. You don't have a choice. You can't choose any other way to get to your destination. That's linear. It's all scripted linear bullshit. That's what it is. It, and, and so therefore that means you can't have a survival game because you aren't surviving so the whole essence of survival means that you make choices to survive you choose i'm gonna choose to go north guys we're going north no you're not can't go north there's a fucking wall there guys we're going east no no you're not going east either because there's a sea to the east Guys, I've changed your mind. We're gonna go west. No, no, you're not. You're not going west because there's a barricade to the west. You're gonna go south because that's the way you have to go. And I'm not talking about what you're seeing on the screen now. That's just, you know, generalizing the skip. You are giving quests. You're giving quests. Go over there and do that. Okay? And that's the way you're gonna go. Yeah, there's offshoots. There's offshoots as you walk along. You, you know, but it's still linear, you can only get there one way. <laughs> it's just, it's, and that takes away the survival aspect because, let me explain. If if you only go from one, if you can only go one way from point A to point B, and the developers on that route have put down all the things you need to collect to survive, such as water, plants, uh, sticks, stones, twine, metal, weapons, different uh, materials to build stuff then you aren't actually finding them are you you're just collecting they're just there on your path like you know the old platform games collect the stars and all the stars is in the path of your guy that's what this is like that's not surviving you're collecting shit and you know what the best love is the most important stuff's in big fucking huts littered around the place that stick out like a fucking sore thumb oh there's a hut shall i go in and explore that hut nah probably nothing in it probably just there for decoration you know of course you're gonna go in and of course you're gonna get the blueprints so you're not you don't feel like you're ever doing it you don't you don't feel anything you feel nothing in this game you don't feel that you're surviving you don't feel that you're uh, role-playing you don't feel that you're even in a zombie apocalypse what you feel like is <laughs> jump his head off <laughs> boom 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 yeah yeah <laughs> hey you want to come and play some zombie hacking slash let's go and chop some Zombies heads off. <laughs> boom, boom, come still watch this. Watch this, I got blown out of me for dying, for dying, for dying. That's what you feel like in this game. See, Project Zomboid, on the other hand, is a full on survival game. You go anywhere you want, totally open world. The developers have just said, there you go, you're in a zombie apocalypse. What are you going to do? Bye. Bye.
Hope you survive. You, you're there. You're just instantly in that apocalypse, and it's like, oh, shit. What do I do? What do I do? Shit, shit. Wait, there's none of that in this game. None of that. You are told what you're gonna do and where you're gonna go to fucking do it, and that is why I don't like this game because this game is built. If you read the store page, it is built as a zombie survival RPG, and it just isn't. What this game is, is a zombie hack and slash game with some crafting in it. I don't care that you can craft a hundred weapons, it's irrelevant. If you don't have to go hunting down the materials in a big open world, then you ain't surviving. Not a max book of survival you're not, you're just following a linear path as it unfolds before you. And that is not surviving, that is just doing what you're told. And so therefore I have to judge the game on what it's built as and what it's set its stall out as. And it has clearly set its stall out as a zombie survival RPG. And so on that basis I would have to say it is definitely not worth a buy. However, if all you're after is a co-op zombie hack and slash game to play with your mates then this is the place because there are none better than this. So on that basis, it is worth a buy.